Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make our Tamarind Storm. Ah! It's a great drink. Another really? one of our originals. Yeah. It's a little more complicated than the Dark and Stormy. And that's the nice thing about the Dark and Stormy. It's easy. Yes. Two ingredients. This one, we got two other ingredients to deal with. Yes. So. It, it makes it twice as difficult. Yeah. But it's only like Good a math. third as difficult as most of ours. <laughs> there you go. Right? Yeah, that math makes sense. That's the new math. Yeah. That's a cocktail dude's math. Right? Your cosine in there somewhere. <laughs> sure. But uh, it adds a little more complexity yeah. to the drink. Because get... the dark and stormy is perfect like it is. It is. Refreshing, mm -hmm. light. You get the complexity from the rum. Yep. Kind of the sharpness from the ginger beer. Mm -hmm. But here we add a little bit of that sourness, kind of plumminess almost from the tamarind. Yeah. Figginess maybe is a better word. Yeah. It's like a fig newton kind of. It's kind of like a prune, although you don't want to say prunes because people don't like prunes because that's what your grandmother eats, right? Right. Especially if, uh, you know. Yeah, let's not go there. Right. <laughs> no more potty humor. <laughs> but it, it just it, it just adds a little bit more. So if it's, uh, you know, a day where you got the time to enjoy a drink, then you can make it a little more complex. Yeah. Yeah. So let's make right. it. All right, we're going to shake together our rum, which we use two ounces of. You gotta shake it because you need to distribute the uh, tamarind paste yes. that we're gonna use. These are tamarind pods here, and you've seen those before on our uh, tamarind whiskey sour, one of my favorite drinks, Very our good. tamarind margaritas. So we talk more about those in those videos, which you might enjoy. But the easiest thing to do, because you can't get the fruit out of these pods because they're surrounded by, they have seeds in them. Very and meticulous. I think alien life forms are in there, so <laughs> yeah. I kind of stay clear of them. Right. Whenever they they're very weird. Whenever they're in the refrigerator, I sort of like, just go <laughs> like that before I open it. <laughs> so we use the tamarind concentrate, mm -hmm. or tamarind paste, which you can buy at your Asian markets or we get them on the internet typically. This thing is like three dollars or four dollars yeah. and it will last you forever. Yeah, because we're only using half a tablespoon or yeah. teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Not even that much of it. No. Nope. And it is a paste so you kind of get in there with the spoon. Yeah. right out of the spoon there. And we're putting in one dash of orange bitters. Just kind of livens up things. We're going to shake that with ice. Typically a dark and stormy is served in a Collins glass, a tall skinny glass. We're going to serve it in more of a old-fashioned glass. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a funky old-fashioned glass. And we're gonna put our ginger beer in there. We have um, some homemade ginger beer here um, that you can watch our ginger beer video if you're interested in that. It's another hilarious one. Oh, yeah. Aren't they all? <laughs> um, or you can use store-bought ginger beer, any nice ginger beer, anything that has like ginger floating around in the bottom oh, yeah. is usually That's nice. That's quality stuff. Well, yeah, so far. <laughs> um, two ounces of ginger beer. into the bottom of the glass. We're gonna add an ice cube into here because the tamarind pieces float to the bottom after about two minutes, so just shaking it or just swirling it a little bit, we'll kind of redistribute that. Mm -hmm. And we'll pour the concoction of rum on top of it. That'll sort of mix itself up. You can smell the aromas of that ginger, oh, can't yeah. you? Here you have mm -hmm. your tamarind storm. Delicious summertime cocktail Enjoy it when it's nice and hot outside. Cheers. Cheers.